Hey guys, Gaston with Rough Country. You know, they say there's such a thing as too much of a good thing, but I would disagree, at least when it comes to the options we have to level and lift your vehicle. Now you can always start with a spacer and a factory strut, but today I'm gonna go over our strut and coilover options that we have, make it a little less confusing for you so you can better make a decision. So sometimes people say good, better, best. I'm gonna say great, greater, and greatest. Starting with our N3 strut, this is a steel body nitrogen charged strut. It is static, and by that I mean the height that you get with it is the height that you get with it. There's no adjustment on this as far as height goes or valving, but the valving is particular to the very vehicle that you purchase it for, as is the spring rate. This is a great option. You'll get a really close to factory ride, probably just a little bit better, depending on how high of a lift you're going. Next up, we've got our M1 strut. This is a mono tube strut. It is adjustable as far as height goes. The valving is already determined and specific for the vehicle. It is a digressive valving, which means it's gonna start on the stiff end for better stabilization, and then as the pressure's put upon it, it's gonna soften to make sure you have the optimum ride. This comes with a two inch extruded seamless body. And again, a spring specifically rated for the vehicle. It's got a massive 44 millimeter piston and it's got a chrome hardened and micro polished 18 millimeter rod. Let me show you how you adjust the height on the M1. Uh, we do have to compress the spring and remove the upper strut hardware. I've got one already set aside here. I'll grab it and show you the snap ring and how you move it up or down to increase or decrease your height. All right, so this one's a little bit different. This is specific for a ram, so it's got a different mount at the bottom, but the adjustability is exactly the same. We've removed the coil. We'll slide the spring seat up, and here you'll be able to see our snap ring and then our additional mounting points for it. So this particular one is a two inch level on a Ram 1500. It's currently set at two. We can go to two and a half, or we can bring it down to an inch and a half, one inch, or even a half inch, depending on exactly what we need. Now to do that, you'll use snap ring pliers, put them into position, spread the snap ring, move it up to the next notch here, and clamp it in place. Believe it or not, that little snap ring is all you need to hold this coil seat nice and firm. It is OEM spec, you don't have to worry about it. And finally, we've got the big boy on the block. We got baby bear, mama bear. This is the papa bear. This is our Vertex series. Again, we're gonna start off with a coil specific for the application. Then we're gonna move up to a two and a half inch piston. This is a nitrogen charged reservoir shock. So we've got all of our oil in the reservoir, transferring through the braided line, keeping it nice and cool, increasing performance. It is the ultimate in way of dampening technology. Like the M1, it's fully adjustable in height. You're gonna use the spanner here and go up or down, increasing the preload on the spring, increasing or decreasing the height. But this one is also adjustable in way of dampening. You've got eight way dampening, one being the softest, eight being the firmest. And the Vertex features billet mounts on both ends. Just aesthetically, this is a great look. Performance wise, it is top notch. This is the penultimate in suspension technology. So which one is the best for you? I can't tell you that. Uh, what I can tell you is we've got great, greater, and greatest. You can't go wrong with any one of them. It really just depends on your situation, your build, and what you're looking to get out of it. But I can tell you, you can find all of them at roughcountry.com.